What's up guys, welcome back. So uh, we're doing some continued work on my RB25neo. Um, so they sell these center, uh, the coil pack covers online and they have some, um, what do you call it? CNC machined ones. Honestly, they look cool. Now, some of the designs I like, but some are just kind of cheesy. Um, I, I wanted to do something on my own and maybe cut this up. I've always just painted it, and um, I feel like, for me, it looks better with the uh, coil pack cover on. Uh, a lot of the times, most people will actually just uh, remove it because you want, obviously, the coils to breathe, and that's what I like about the aftermarket ones. They have those like designs where it's cut up and you're able to you know, get some ventilation to your coil packs, which is important just because uh, that's how a lot of these things will fail, just due to excessive heat. So I decided, you know what, before just purchasing one of those, maybe we can do something fun with this. Um, I do have to clean it up, so I'm gonna clean it up here in a little bit. I don't know what this stuff is. I think they put some kind of coating. Uh, I it was all over the engine bay before too. I think it's just to like, keep it from rusting or uh, making it, I don't know if it just to make it look better. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sand this all off and then maybe come up with a design. I also purchased this for super cheap on eBay. Yeah, I've used this before on my RB20, I think. So I'm gonna put that on probably somewhere in the front. So we'll do that. Maybe I'll clean this up first and come up with some kind of design that I could use. So that way we can make it look nice and have it functional as well. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna, I just sprayed it down a little bit here with some, uh, just some water with a little bit of soap on here. And I'm just gonna clean off all the, uh, just the light dirt that's on it. That way when I start scuffing up, the uh, plastic, it's not going to be sanding that dirt into the, or scuffing that dirt into the plastic. So like I said, just a light clean. See, if you look, there's this like, yeah, it looks like clear coat of some sort. I don't know. I'm going to have to get that off so it's nice and smooth. I think I got it down to as much as I want to go on here. It's pretty flat. Uh, I just wanted to get that clear coat off of there. And I think that is good enough. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to grab something to measure here so that way I can come up with a design that isn't too intricate, but enough where, you know, something cool where I can cut it out with a Dremel. Obviously, if I had, uh, you know, a water jet or, or something else, that's, uh, I can make some crazy intricate designs, but obviously this is all going to be done by hand. So, uh, yeah, let's get on the computer so I can make something out of the cricket. Okay, so for my main design, uh, I want to have it kind of centered on the coil pack cover away from where it dips down. It's just going to be easier to cut on the flat part, obviously. So just a rough estimate here. I think I'm going to go about two inches uh, tall and obviously depending on the design, we'll go with, uh, you know, whatever length. But I kept searching for your trace in the dark Losing myself in the endless memories of the end right from the start You're in the Alright, so now that I've... Out, so what I did is I outlined the uh, vinyl So that way when I do start cutting it with a Dremel She doesn't like bunch up with the, uh, the vinyl. It'll just be a clean cut on the uh, Sharpie. So this is going to be the fun part. 
and seeing how straight I can make these cuts. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'd say 20, good 20, 30 minutes or so. Um, I got it. Oh crap, there goes my Dremel. So I got it cut out. It's not bad, I need to clean it up a little bit. I think it'll look a lot better once uh, I clean up all these edges. All right, so while the uh, high temp paint is still tacky, I'm gonna use a color shift paint that I have left over from my uh, dirt jumper. Alright, so I got the base coat down and it is looking really nice. You can definitely see the uh, that blue to the purple to like a teal and a green. This is honestly one of my favorite paints. And I don't even think this is getting like picked up on the camera compared to as in person. All right guys, so everything is finished. Uh, the paint is still curing, but it's dry enough where I could actually put the uh, badge on there. Uh, obviously, I'm a little impatient because I probably should have waited till it was completely dry. Um, I did get it on there nice and didn't have to adjust anything. So <laughs> if I did, I'd pretty much be screwed. Uh, but it came out a lot better than I expected. Obviously, it's by no means perfect. I obviously painted it in front of my yard, in the elements. Um, there's a couple things here and there, but I, it came out a lot better than I expected. Enough of me talking. Let's show you guys the uh, end, end result. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe even got some information on building your own coil pack cover and not having to spend an arm and a leg for an aftermarket one. Plus you get to give it your own touch, um, kind of make it your own as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, feel free, as always, help me out with a thumbs up. And if you want to follow along on more content with this build, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next video.